You're right. I, I think a lot of people in life, they think that people are successful by luck or chance or by accident. And they don't realize that when you really look at all of these successful people, you find out that it's not by luck or by chance. That they actually did things that were very different than other people. And what did you see that Stephen Curry did that was different than everyone else around him? Did you? He had goals. He knew where he was going, right? And because he knew where he was going, he was able to take what? Action, accountability. See, I call it the executive mind. You can tell when someone is really good at what they do. Because when they talk, it just, you feel it from them. You know that it's coming from them. It's not coming from someone else. What do I mean by this? Like you go into a company. There's two types of people. I call them renters and owners in the company. Who are the renters? How do you identify a renter? They're just there for the paycheck. Yeah. They don't do anything unless someone what? Tells them. They're not there to, to like grow the company and to be part of the company. They're only there because it's a job. And as soon as they leave, what happens? Yeah, nothing happens, but as soon as they leave, it's like, okay, now I'm going to live my life, right? And even when they're there, they're always thinking about what? What, what they're going to do when they're done, right? As soon as 5 o'clock hits, what am I going to do tonight? Or when, I'm, when am I going to go on my next vacation, right? They don't actually take ownership for what they're doing. So when they treat, you know, the resources of the company, they treat it like what? like people treat a rental car, <laughs> right? When, you, when you're driving your own car, and when you're driving a rental car, what's the difference? You take care of my own car. <laughs> you take care of your own car. When you get a rental car, it doesn't matter what you do, right? It doesn't matter if you're stomping on the brake really hard or if like, you're, you're like, speeding up really quickly or if like, you're going over a speed bump and you're like going over at full speed, right? Because you don't have to maintain it. It's not yours, right? But your own car you got a speed bump. You're not going to go over full speed. You're going to slow down, right? Because you're taking ownership of it. It's like it's yours. It's like anything you spend on it is coming out of you. Yes, people who take ownership, they do it so much that when they do what they do, it seems so easy even though it's really difficult. That's also how you can identify an expert, right? If you see someone doing their task and it looks like they're straining a lot and that they have to put a lot of effort into it, it's more than likely that person is not an expert, right? But we're, we're in our office today and we need to compile some things. So Alfredo is there trying to compile it and he sees me walking by. And he knows that I know where everything is. So he asks a question, and I stop, and I say, OK, you get it here, you get it here. Another guy comes along, tells him where to get other materials, right? And I looked at it, and looked at Alfredo, and Alfredo was thinking, yeah, I did a good job. Because I knew where to find people who knew what they were doing. But I said, Alfredo, I need to teach you a little lesson here. It's like, it's good to utilize expertise. But when you are supposed to be the expert, you need to know it yourself. Right? And he said, well, why do I need to know it myself if you know, I have you here? He said, because you want to make this your living. If you want to make something your living, people who make stuff their living, they eat, breathe, sleep, everything about it. So I told him, look, you might not teach this lesson, but you should already know what the lesson is, even if you don't teach it. Because it's what you want to do. If it's what you want to do, 
learn everything about it, take accountability for it, become an expert at it, right? And it's just like Tom Brady. Does everybody know who Tom Brady is? Okay, so Tom Brady is an excellent fo American football quarterback. Do you know how Tom Brady became so good? Okay, first off, Tom Brady, when he went out for the draft, when he was selected, he wasn't the top pick. In fact, he was like a fifth round pick. Fifth round pick means out of all the players, he was like number 200. <laughs> he, would, he was picked at the last. He goes to the NFL. Is he the starting quarterback? No, he's a backup. <coughs> he's a backup to a really good guy. So what is Tom Brady doing all this time that he doesn't get to play? He's practicing. Because in his mind, if ever I get the opportunity, I want to what? I want to be good. So he's studying the film. He's in the office looking at every detail about what he has to do as a quarterback. He's practicing every day. He's doing this way more than anybody else's, even the stars, right? He's on the football field. He's in the video room till like midnight every day, looking at everything he can possibly do to become a better person, right? Just so happens what? His time comes up, and he gets put in. And he does so well, he takes over the starting quarterback position. And ever since then, he has been outstanding. One of the only quarterbacks to win, I think, four Super Bowls. And he's still going. Right, that is an expert.